People of YouTube, what are your thoughts on studios that ask you to complete an art test before or after an interview? It's a good idea since I can prove I have the skills for the job. My portfolio should be enough proof of what I can do. As long as the art test is paid I don't see anything wrong with it. Good to point that out. My friend had one and I didn't even think that you would get paid for the test but she did. In the video game industry it is unfortunately very rare, even for a mid or senior position. Let's just hope that paid art test will become a standard for every studios. Your portfolio already shows off your skills and it's a way of selling yourself. I see no points in art tests, your portfolio shows your skills, but you might not have a proper artwork which is related to the studio you are aiming for. And above all, it gave you a proper deadline, so the studio knows that you can finish the work in time for production. Isn't the real point of them to show that you can do it in a timely manner? It doesn't really matter if you can model and texture the most beautiful environment or character if it takes you twice as long as your competitors for the role. It also helps weed out people who rely entirely on tutorials and don't really know their stuff. Sometimes you will receive very specific art direction. The test helps so much if that's how they do art. Timeliness and amp. Commensurate pay for the art notwithstanding semicolon person taking the art test are doing it at their own place. The studio won't know if they are working 8 or 12 hours to get it done and if person is working at a different place good luck getting art test done. Depends how extensive it is and if it's paid. Why not? Just as long as they are not breathing down my neck, fine. I can't really focus when someone is staring. But then again, a nice portfolio demonstrating my skills should be enough. Yes. A test is a good way to know if one can do it in timely manner and with specific instructions. You may have modeled your character, environment etc on your portfolio in days, weeks, months. But can you do it in a deadline? Depends on the amount of work. I'm not doing a week's worth of work for a studio without being compensated, but if it's just a test to see if I can do what the job asks of me on a small scale then I don't see why not. I totally agree with their test. I have literally seen many people who borrow their portfolio contents from their friends. It should be mandatory for every studio to conduct a test before hiring any fresher artist which can prove their worth to work in that particular studio. Since the senior or mid-level artist have a decent or perfect experience working in the industry, a face-to-face -face interview is enough to hire them. The portfolio should be enough, along with a 3 months probation period. If the person lied on their portfolio or overestimate their experience with the position they applied to, it's easy to spot in the initial months, but, ain't that whole probation period's time gonna be a waste if a person came out inexperienced. If the art test is a simple test of skills I'd be fine with it, if it's a week's worth of work then probably not. LOL if it's a week worth of art test, they'd better be paying. I don't know where I stand personally on the topic, like if I got the interview done and got asked to do a test I'd definitely feel forced to and would probably do it, but I know for a fact that some AAA studios definitely abuse art tests by asking you to make a week's worth of work without compensating you for your time. Like we're talking here of creating a fully modeled, texture and lit environment with camera work and even a character sometimes, all in under a week. I'm not going to name names. But some big studios do that shamelessly on the regular because they know people would die for a position in their house and so they can get away with it. Unless your portfolio is an exact match to the art style of the studio, an art test shouldn't be a big deal. Only if it is a test that is actually fast to do. A company for an internship once asked me many years ago to work on the given task for only a certain amount of time so that they could gauge where I was standing technically and style wise. That can be fine for me because it's not a way to get free work. I've done a few art tests. Never got accepted yet. All I can say is that they are kind of a waste of time for both parties. It's a waste of time for me because they usually tell me we usually model, texture, and import this kind of model in 4 hours which just absolutely stresses me out because now I pretty much have a time limit from when I read the email to make the most important project of my life so far. 
I end up screwing it up and making a garbage thing that they just immediately reject. Like, you saw my portfolio, can you not just judge by that and stop giving me these ridiculous challenges? If I was brought onto a studio I guarantee I can adapt after a week or two but no studio in existence wants anything to do with me and the two studios that did, just wanted an unpaid art test. I think if you're not making top of the line quality content for free in high school, then these studios want nothing to do with you. Would you like to learn 3D modeling? Do you ever wonder how 3D models are made? Well, you see making 3D models is actually not as complicated as it looks. Typically models are made from simple geometric shapes like a cube and slowly transformed to create cooler looking shapes. For example, like this character. Hey, this is only a 45 second ad so there's not enough time to cover everything. Click on the link below now to get started. When you click the link, it will show you exactly the steps to making 3D models from scratch. You'll see everything you need to know to get started and by the end of the course, you will have made some really cool 3D models, like this room. Like I said, this is a short video so I don't have enough time to explain everything. Click the link below now to see exactly how this is done.